all those things, then you create a legacy. You can create a legacy. You know, at the end of the day, we're all leaving here, right? No one gets out free. So we're all gone. And, you know, my goal is when, I, when I'm gone, that uh, whoever, who's ever going to greet me at the pearly gates is going to say, Arnie, job well done. And that's your legacy. See, that's your legacy. You know, why were you here? You made a mark. You made a difference. And we all can do that. And, you know, here's the neat thing about Hopeful is they have shown tremendous research in the last six, seven years now that the hippocampus and the brain, that, that, that the part of for memory and stuff like that, the volume increases when you're doing these things. The volume gets bigger. Because for years they've been saying it's shrinking, you can't do anything about it. All this Alzheimer's research and finding the right drug. They haven't found a drug since 2004 that's done anything. And they won't, they're fighting like, you know what, to do all those six things I just suggested there. They're fighting that. Crazy, huh? It's right in front of us. It's not a pill. It's a lifestyle. It's a strategy. It's a will. If it's hard. Do you realize how, how much energy this takes out of families? Let me tell you what the energy it took in my family to do this. I was in the business. I understood it. It drains you. So I know any of you here that are, are, are dealing with families that deal with this stuff, this is brutal stuff. It, it, just, it just sucks the energy out. But it works. Every time it's tried. Every time it's tried. And um, I just want to mention a couple more things here. Because see, all of us are going to come to a fork in a road. We're all going to come to a fork in a road in our lives where we can, in, regardless of what's happened to us, regardless that we can either do what we have to do to get along and sometimes that's okay but that might be a level three experience right feels good getting along or we could choose the other fork that says i'm gonna make a difference i'm gonna do something that's hard i'm gonna make a difference i'm gonna take a chance i'm gonna risk you know how hard it is to risk called the 2%. See, 2% of the people, like Michelle here, she took a risk. She put this together. Risky. Good for you. Because, see, it doesn't matter if you fail or not. It really doesn't matter if you fail. Because you learn from it. It's not failure. Just like when you ask somebody out on a date. Taking a risk. Okay? And if you learn from it, you win. But if you never ask, you never know. So it's an automatic hell. So you got you got every one of us going to look at that fork in the road. We have, and we're going to have to deal with that. We're going to have to deal with that fork in the road at some point. We're either going to we're either going to get along, or we're going to take a shot, and make a difference. And then I want I want to kind of mention another couple of things. I think because when we're dealing with traumatic injuries and we're dealing with with mental illness. A lot of us are looking for that kind of that area where we don't really have to move too much. We kind of like get along kind of area, neutral area, and that's fun. It might get you, it might get you stable for a bit. But see, in life, we're going to have to learn how to, and I'm going to use a little aggressive term here, fight from three different positions. Because all of us are going to be in a position where we're on our back. Life has you on your back. And you're going to have to learn how to fight your way off your back to make it. You're going to. And I promise you, all of us are going to be on our back at some point. Or as I used to say, we're all going to get punched in the face. And so you're either going to deal with it, or you're going to go down. So you got to learn how to fight off your back. And then we got to, we're all getting pretty good at being in the neutral position. That's where both life and you are just toe-to-toe. So you're going to just kind of go at it life toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And then we got to be in the superior position. Because there's going to be times in your life when things are going your way, right? I'm in charge. How are you going to deal with that? Some people take advantage of that, don't they? Doesn't go well. Feels good. 
Level three, right? Feels good to be in charge, doesn't it? But if you do dumb things and you take advantage of people and you hurt people, you're not doing anybody any good. It's going to make your life a lot tougher. So we got to learn how to deal with life when you have in those three different positions. You got you got to learn how to deal with all that stuff. And so, guys, as I finish up here today, I, I did pass out that information there. And uh, one of the things I wanted to share with everybody before I finish is that, you know, I'm a coach as well. And uh, I also speak at places like this. I speak on mental health, brain, memory, anything to do with the brain, and the physicality of it as well, exercise and wellness. As an exercise physiologist, I do that. To me, that stuff's pretty easy. This stuff is pretty hard. So uh, if, if any of you out there know of any uh, individuals, organizations that are looking for that, I'd love to talk to you about that. And if anybody here knows of somebody or yourself that wants to talk, I don't charge anything to talk. And then I'll work it out. Because you know what? I'm here to help people. And that's the main thing. But I'll work it out. And um, so just, you've got my, my information right there. I'd love to talk to you about it. And um, I'm not sure where I'm at on time, but if anybody has any questions, I'd love to answer them. And uh, if not, Michelle, thank you so much for the opportunity. You're awesome. I appreciate you. And uh, I appreciate you guys as well. Thanks.